Good morning and once again welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to explain example 10 and the sequence. Find the nth term of the sequence 5, 8, 11, 14, 17. But before we go there, it is important to remember and even to know that we have understood in the previous slide that uh, term 1, term 1 is actually A. Term 2 is A plus D. Term 3 is A plus 2D. And as you can see, um, term 1 has no common difference. Term 2 has a common difference because it is actually term 1 plus the common difference because we have understood in the previous example that the common difference is term 2 minus term 1. So if we say term 2 is equals to which is d, uh, term 2, um, let's say d is equals to term 2 minus term 1 it goes without saying, if you want to make term 2 the subject for the formula here, you're going to have term 2 is equals to term 1 plus D. But what is term 1? Term 1 is equals to A. So term 2 is A plus D. That is it. So we, in term 2, we have 1D. In term 3, we have 2Ds. All the way... In term n, we must be having n minus 1d because term 3 we have 2d. So d is always 1 less than the position. So in term n, we have a plus n minus 1d. And that is the question we need to respond. Find the nth term of the sequence 5, 8, 11, 14, 17. First of all, what is the common difference? In this particular case, um, let's look at part A. Our first term is 5. Our D is 8 minus 5, which is a 3. And it is constant because even 17 minus 14 is a 3. So the nth term, term N is, as you can see, A plus A plus N minus 1 D, which is A is 5 plus n minus 1 and the d is a 3 we don't know the value of n here is just a general position so generally term n is 5 open this bracket plus 3 n minus 3 so if you collect the like terms 5 minus 3 is 2 and therefore term n is 2 plus 3 n and that is term n, any general term n. That is how we go about it. Part B of the question, use your answer to part A to find the hundredth term. The answer to part A to find the hundredth term. Let's go to part B of the question. Use your answer to part B to find the what? Term 100. And let us, let us look at it. Term 100, in this case, N is 100 because that is the position. So term 1, 100, we are going to have A, which is a 5, plus, now we know the value of N, which is 100, 100, 100 minus 1 multiplied by the common difference. And it goes without saying that term 100 is a 5, 100 minus 1 is 99 uh, plus 99 multiplied by 3. And let us see what is 99 multiplied by a 3. <coughs> let us see. What is uh, 99 times 3? 297. We have a 2. So, term 100 so to speak, term 100 is 5 plus 297, 
which is easily 302, which is 302. That is term 100. And part C of the same question, part C of the same question, we are supposed to, is 243 a term of the sequence? Is 243 a term of the sequence? Um, the way we need to answer that question um, is that 243 has to fit in a specific position. So there is a general formula for term n. And we are saying since term n is given by 5 plus n minus 1 times 3, which is basically what we have seen, 2 plus 3n. If 243 is a term, then it should be equals to, it should be given by this general formula of a term in that particular sequence. And what we want to understand is that, um, that that's the question we are asking, is 2 plus 3n equals to 243? That is the question. And we can just um, evaluate here to find the value of n, and therefore we are going to say, if we have 2 and 2 crosses over to this other side, then we are going to have 3n is 243 minus 2, which is 241. What we need now to show is the value of n. Divide by 3, divide by 3. And therefore, n, according to this calculation, n, according to this calculation, is um, 241 divided by 3, 80.33, or 80 and a third. Value of n is eight zero and a third. Now, please remember that n has to be a position, and the position cannot be decimal number. A position we have term one, we have term two, we have a term in the third position, we have a term in the fourth position. For example, if we still go back to the same question, we have. Um, 5 is term 1, 8 term 2, 11 term 3, term 4 is 14, and term 5 is 17 moving forward. We cannot have a position which is 80.3. We don't have that natural position. And therefore, since the value of n is 80 and a third, and we do not have such a natural position, since we don't have 80, since we cannot, we cannot have 80 and a third as a natural, as a natural position, then 243 is not a member of is not a term of the it's not a term of the sequence and that is it for it to be a term of the sequence it has to occupy a specific definite position like position one position two position three but there is no position like 80.33 position thank you